Hi, I'm going to show you how to highlight negative and positive values using conditional formatting. So right now we have a chart with profit separated by quarter. And what we want to do is give some color formatting to the positive values and the negative values. And to do that, what we do is go over to your format pane, which is uh, under the paintbrush, go to data colors. And right now you can't see anything, but if you move your mouse pointer over to the right, you can see an ellipsis sign, three little dots. Click that, and then you're gonna see this conditional formatting option. Click it. And now we have an ability to, to create a color scale. So format by color scale or rules. So we can do uh, the standard, which is uh, just a color scale. And we can choose our value, which is profit. And then we can click that and we have uh, for our value, minimum value, we have red and for our maximum value we have green if we click that you can see that it changes the color and there's some gradation in color however if we want it to just have green for positive and red for negative we would go back over and you can see in the default color there's a function sign click this and go back into conditional formatting instead of color scale we can do rules and you have your data colors you, we want to format by rules and then once we're in rules we want to set this conditional so anything that is greater than or equal to the minimum and you can write minimum in just by writing M or less than zero and then change this to a number. So anything that's greater or equal to the minimum number and is less than zero, we want to keep red. Then we click new rule to make our green or positive value. Anything greater than zero number and is less than the maximum, let's make green. Hit OK. Voila, you have negative and positive values. Now, this is for a bar chart, but we can also bring in the state for our geographic information. And we can use conditional formatting there also to see profit. I'm going to increase the size of this by going over to the field pane and bringing in profit under size. And then also click the format button. And then you can see under data colors, we also have the ellipsis. Click that, and we can choose to use diverging colors, which gives us a middle value, and we can actually change that, and I'm going to show you the colors there. So we can easily see that we have the most profit in California, and then the, the smaller and red one would be in Illinois, which we had a lower profit. Now, when you have a table or matrix, let me, we also have control over conditional. So I'm going to bring in state, and then I'm going to bring in profit. And then I'm going to highlight the format tab, go down to 
where it says conditional formatting and you also have the option for background colors which will show you that show you the different color gradation you have the same options here to create rules or do the color scale but in addition we can create the font color data bars and even icons that is a quick and easy way to use conditional formatting i hope that helps